2023, it's rare to introduce new construction in Yale Town in Vancouver, especially a 3,000 square foot penthouse on the 34th floor of a newly constructed building. Well, that's exactly what I have the privilege of sharing with you today. It's the South Penthouse at 8X on the Park in Yale Town. This unit has never been brought to the market before. This is the first time that the realtors in the city have been able to see it, and I'm one of the first agents to be able to share it with you. So come along with me as we tour this three bedroom, two and a half bath, 3,100 square foot penthouse in Vancouver. So to start off our tour, we are in the beautiful living and dining area. But before we get to this, I'm going to take you back to the entrance and we're going to do a full walkthrough so you can get the scale of this apartment. One quick note before we get started, though, I do want to mention that this unit is a new release by the developers, meaning that it's never been on the market before. It's listed by Meg Ryan and Natalie Ganest, and I'm so honored that they were able to allow me to come in here and film it and share it with all of you. So with that being said, let's get started with the tour. When I came around this corner over here into this first foyer area, I was blown away because you'll see in a moment, the views from this 34th floor looking southeast, phenomenal. This is your entrance hallway here. And as you can see, you'll see more of it later. We have a beautiful glass staircase leading up to the second level, but we'll get to that later. The first thing we need to talk about is this expansive great room area. In my previous tours, we talked about some homes that were a little more closed off and different forms of entertainment spaces. This is that open penthouse luxury feel that so many of us, including myself, love. Before we get to that, take a look at this bonus space. This is one of several bonus spaces in this apartment that can serve as offices, reading nooks, play areas, an abundant variety of different things you could use the space for. But for me, with this view looking out to the east, seeing Metro Town, seeing Mount Baker, seeing BC Place, these views at night would be unbelievable. What a great space to get some work done, to read a book, you could make a little lounge in here, but a great little quiet nook away from this big area over here that now we're gonna show you. I've said this before, I'll say it again, I need space for a dining room table. And in a penthouse, I would expect nothing less than space for a grand dining room table such as this. Being able to comfortably fit three chairs on either side, that's the space recorded as we come into this home. This is really, really exceptional finishes in this apartment, as I'm sure you've already noticed. We have the off ash flooring. As you can see, we have the dining room table behind me, but to the right is our very large, beautiful kitchen. Let's take a look. I was just speaking about the tones of wood used in here. This beautiful ash tone is found throughout the flooring as well as the cabinetry, including built in, such as the fridge. We have totally paneled in appliances such as the fridge, as well as the dishwashers and the pantry units, and it's beautiful. Right here, you can see that we have a sub-zero wine fridge, as well as a sub-zero refrigerator and melee appliances throughout the rest of the home. And we have gas as well. Not every new construction has gas now due to changing flux laws around North America in general. But as someone who loves to cook, seeing a gas stove is second best to induction, but I will absolutely take it. Anything is better than electric, we all know that. And again, we're in a penthouse. We can't expect anything less than the top of the line appliances. So having Miele and Sub-Zero, really, really excellent. I always love having additional refrigeration for wine, for champagne. And this is a really, really wide wine fridge. You're seeing a lot of the skinny ones these days where they're almost floor to ceiling and pretty narrow. I love the width of this because you could really put a nice wine collection in here, be able to keep it out of your refrigerator space and have it easily accessible right in the kitchen. And the one thing in front of me that I'm sure you've noticed is this very large size island. We have comfortable seating for four people at this bar here, as well as the best views in the home, sitting here being able to look out and see as far as Mount Baker to the east, as far as Vancouver Island mountain peaks off in the distance, Vancouver Airport, False Creek. We are above most of the other buildings in Yale Town, so it's just really an exceptional place to cook a meal, have a glass of wine, entertain, and be able to look out at these views that are kind of indescribable. It's really, really exceptional. One of the things I also want to show you is the innovative storage design they have in this home. And another thing about being new construction is that we're having the latest cabinet technology as well as pantry technology. One of the things that really impressed me was, this is classic. We've all seen this before. This is a pretty standard pantry type storage unit. But this is a really, really well-constructed corner unit 
that has these devices, but they're so smooth. Like if you were here and feeling this, the engineering is just really, really top of the line on this because these can get clunky and kind of weird. We all know that. But this really is something you could actually put pantry items on, spices, dry goods, whatever it may be, and easily slide it back, getting the most use of space out of this pantry. I mean, again, this is a three bedroom home, so this is easily suitable for a family. You need places to store things. There's a ton of storage in this unit, but especially in the kitchen to be able to have this double pantry area, really, really great. We love that. Now that we're standing in the kitchen, let's actually pan over and take a look at this living and dining space. The first one is, I don't even know if we need this, but we have another breakfast nook here. This is a great place for casual morning coffee, a breakfast, place to read, relax, all the above. I'm not as really that interested in this, honestly. I'm much more interested in this. This is a great little area. Think about having a beautiful bar cart here or a wonderful credenza full of incredible liquor and glassware and having magazines and being able to come over here and have a cocktail and enjoy the south facing light streaming down through the windows. Like this is a great little nook. Even right now in this late afternoon sun, to be able to sit here and just enjoy, I'm gonna say it again, enjoy a glass of wine. This would be such a great place just to hang out. And that's what's nice about this home is that it doesn't feel like just a rectangle with glass. There's layers, there's dimension, there's space. And you don't always see that in modern construction these days, especially in large penthouse unit, units. Usually they just become kind of wider or longer and not necessarily carving out space for different seating areas and different, you know, different gathering points throughout the home. What separates this from the living room side of it is actually one of several balconies in this home. So let's go take a look at the couch and we'll take a look at the balcony as well. Over to the right, opposite of our little reading bar nook, we have our lounge living room area. There's not really a great wall for a TV here. I mean, I guess you could put a TV on this wall, but that doesn't really matter because we have tons of other spaces in this home for a TV, as we'll see when we go upstairs. But for this, going back to the entertaining, imagine welcoming guests into this living room, seated at this beautiful sun-drenched lounge. This is exceptional. Because we have the double height ceilings here going clear up to the second story, you have the most expansive southeast views with light washing all down. Imagine what this would look like at night too. I can only imagine. It's, I'm sure, spectacular when the final sun rays of golden light are refracting on all the buildings and it's probably just glowing up here and an amazing place to hang out. Like we have the nook over there, it also kind of pulls back so you feel a little bit separated over there. Again, not just that big square box, we have dimension of space. And between these two, we have our first balcony, which let's take a quick look at because these views off to the south, really, really beautiful. All the balconies in this building are quite deep. They look to be about five to six feet deep. I can see clear out to Bowen Island. So I know that makes it a little forced, but you could kind of say that you have two 70 degree views because you got west, you got south, and you got east, and even a touch little bit of north, more like 300 degree views in a way. Um, I love a water view, it's great to see Falls Creek, but it's also beautiful to be able to see out to the open ocean, meaning that you would get a little bit of direct sunlight from the sunsets. Let's head back inside and let's check out upstairs. So now let's head into the primary suite. Off to my left we have washer dryer as well as a really deep closet. This apartment has so many storage spaces, like all these really deep closets, which is amazing because like we were saying earlier, this could be a family home. This could be several different people living here. This is not really a one person or two person apartment. So you need the storage space, which is amazing. Did I also mention there is a private storage room downstairs in addition to the two car private garage, in addition to the separate one car stall. So you have three total parking spaces, a full storage room in the basement, in addition to all the interior storage. So very livable. Let's head into the primary suite. Off to our right, we have a powder room right here, which will probably be for your guests when they come over to access the living room, kitchen, and all of that. And behind me, we have this luxurious primary suite. First things first, let's take a look at this primary bedroom closet. Now, thankfully, they've built in a huge amount of storage space into this closet. So not only do we have a huge amount of built-in space, 
but there's so much physical space in here, you could even put an additional unit. You could put a centerpiece, you could put something along this wall, something in this little corner here, and you have the built-in storage already ready to go with drawers, with shelves, with hanging space. Great closet. I mean, for a penthouse of this size, you'd expect a great closet. Thankfully, this unit has it. In addition, we also have a small sitting area off to the left here. This could be a great makeup station, place to get ready. Again, we have a very large size king bed here. We're not super wide. You can comfortably fit nightstands on either side, and this is this might even be a bit larger than a king. It looks awfully wide. But what we do have a lot of space for is the bathroom. We have a separate shower, tub, as well as double sink vanity beautiful stone in here as well. It plays into that gray tone that we found in the kitchen as well as through the flooring, but it doesn't feel like that. Do you remember a few years ago when like, every single flip or every single new like modern renovation had you know, just gray wood everywhere? It's not the same as that, <laughs> because we all remember that era. That was not a fun era. This has an elevation to it, thank God, um, as of course you would expect of a home of this caliber. Also, off to the left, we have another balcony this one is private just to the primary suite and again this one is even deeper than the one before we got about mm, maybe six seven feet deep which is a great space to enjoy these gorgeous east facing views to have a morning cup of coffee out here in the sunlight with that being said let's go check out the other two bedrooms which are up our glass flight of stairs in addition to our little bonus spaces all right so we've made it up to the upper level now now this is a really fun space because I mentioned the other two bedrooms are here, but what I didn't really mention were the bonus spaces. Let's start by taking a look at this. This is the TV area I was talking about earlier, which is the reason you don't need to have a TV downstairs because we have this great little nook where you can have a love seat, you can have a sofa, you can put a television. Also, when you're sitting here, because we have the loft effect of being able to look over down onto the main floor, it feels so expansive, it feels so bright. Again, we're looking off the south facing wall here, so all year round you're gonna get sunlight streaming in these windows, which is a huge plus, especially in Vancouver. And again, finding a penthouse that is brand new construction in Yale Town simply just hasn't happened in a long while now. So that is one of the reasons why it's so unique and it's so amazing to be able to share with you this apartment today, just because there's nothing like this on the market right now. Also, we have our little TV area. We have another bonus area. They have this set up as a games room right now. This could be another phenomenal office space. Like the thought of having a great desk right here, being able to look out to the east facing views, surrounded by all this light coming in, what a phenomenal place to work. This could also be another lounge area. You could have chairs, you could have the TV up here rather than over there. That could be your office, this could be your media room. Regardless, there's so much bonus space that you could decide what you wanna do with it. And regardless of any of that, you're surrounded by this beautiful light that is just streaming in from this apartment. It's so fun. I mean, if you had guests over, I could, when I was a child, this is exactly what I would have done. I'd be sneaking up here and like spying on everyone down there. You could see the full landscape of the party happening from up on this railing. Um, you know, you love a loft style apartment and this is really like loft living at its best. I just can't really get over the views from up here. You can see Oak Ridge being developed down um, to the south. You can see the water, you can see the sailboat, you can see the top of Vancouver House, you can see the Granville Bridge. It's just really, really exceptional. From here, let's head into our other two bedrooms, which are just behind me and right along this hallway. So the good thing about this room is that we still have space. You have room for a king bed in here. There's not an ensuite in here, but regardless, it's a great sized bedroom. It's not like a micro little space. We can fit a king size bed, we can fit a dresser, and we have a large, deep, wide closet. In addition to these doors, it goes all the way back to the edges of the wall. So there's so much hanging closet space. Um, and again, we have the beautiful east facing views out of this bedroom. So you're gonna get beautiful morning light. You know, 34th floor, we can see all of BC Place. I just can't get over the views. 
And what's great about this pet house is that it's very versatile. This could be a family with young kids. This could be a family with grown adult children. This could be a young, wealthy couple who needs guest bedrooms. This could be an older couple who's maybe downsizing from a big house, still needs the storage space, still needs the guest bedrooms, and really just uses the primary. These rooms are big enough to actually live in. They're not just like accessory bedrooms. You could really put people in here who could live and be very comfortable. To service both of these bedrooms, you have a um, standard three-piece bathroom. This bathroom will serve the first bedroom here as well as the next bedroom behind me. So let's hop into here. Very, very similar room, but the big difference in this room is that you have a much larger walk-in closet with all kinds of storage space once again. We even have a little desk in the staging of this room, which goes to show that you can fit a little bit more in here. I'd probably opt for a king bed and not the desk just because we have so much space for work environments, desks, all that in this condo already, I would just go full king bed, take advantage of the walk-in closet, which you can see is deep. I mean, so much storage space in here, really. And again, like we said before, beautiful east-facing views. You can see all of Metro Town, Mount Baker, just phenomenal. Let's head down and see one more bonus space that, like I just mentioned, I wouldn't put the desk in there because you can put it over here. As we head down this hallway, you'll notice that there's a door at the end. This is just a private exit fire door just for the fire code. Um, there's nothing else out in this hallway, but because we have those two floors, it's required. This is a giant storage den. Think about all the space you have in here. And then this is your closed door office space. Or if you want, you could use it as a fourth bedroom, although technically there is no closet in here, so it's not really a fourth bedroom. If you had a baby with a crib, maybe a nursery room, or that closed door office. If you're on calls all day, you need that privacy, you need that extra space, you have this room as well. And you really, this is not one of those dens where you need to use it for storage because, hello, storage. Hello, storage. You saw the two units downstairs. There's so much storage. That window in there really gives you the space to make it that closed door office and not have to compromise your storage space or your bedroom space to make sure that you have everything you need in this home. So that's the upstairs of this unit, which I just wanna to touch again on the versatility that this space offers. Because you have the separation from downstairs, you have functional rest area that's not a bedroom, it's not an office, it's really undefined space, and it's up to you. You have flexibility in these spaces, you have another deck over here. This is our third outdoor space of the apartment, and it really just feels so magical up here. With that being said, let's head back downstairs and finish up this tour. And that concludes our tour here of the penthouse at 8X on the Park in Yaletown, Vancouver. This was a really special tour because this product simply hasn't existed in Yaletown. This new construction, never before seen penthouse, exclusive, new to the market. I'm so honored I was able to share it with you here today in this tour. So if you have any questions about this unit or any other real estate in Vancouver, make sure to reach out to me and I'll be happy to get in touch quickly. My name is Cameron Phillips. I'm a real estate advisor at Engel and Volkers Vancouver. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.